you know, even leading companies these days are doing a lot of soul searching about how to stay ahead of the game, ahead of their competitors. Uh, they're wondering to themselves, why do our competitors seem to be able to get products to market? so much quicker than they do. Uh, they understand the products have differentiation, but it's not clear to them uh, what it costs them to gain that differentiation. It needs even, is it even worth it? Uh, we are um, constantly surprised by the high cost of quotes coming back. We send an RFQ out, we expect a certain number, and it comes back 20, 30, 40% higher than we anticipated. Uh, and even IP and the advantage of being first to market uh, are you losing that advantage uh, by engaging your suppliers too early? E even the best companies um, follow the old truism of got to get our suppliers involved early, right? For early cost input on concepts, right? For manufacturability, for component uh, shortages, etc. Uh, and that can be at the CM level, the ODM level, uh, down into the sub-tiers. It really doesn't matter, right? But at what risk are you doing this? Um, suppliers have little motivation, really, to quote you aggressively on early cost input. You're going to hold that cost against them and demand that, that low cost down the road in a full RFQ. If they quote high, well, they're probably not going to get the business. So they're in a no-win situation by getting involved early. Um, you also have to think about the fact that the, your competitor products are quite literally, in many cases, built on the next line over. And if you think about the hundreds of thousands of people coming in and out of those factories every day, all it takes is for an information scalper to get a hold of one of those guys and get them to get a little bit of information out. And now your product has lost all its early advantage. The real truth is you should not be looking at your global supply chain as a partner, right? Um, even the strongest companies, Apple, for example, uh, are known for their extraordinary lengths of keeping security throughout their supply chain. Uh, but all you have to do is look at Mac rumors nine months before the next uh, iPhone is going to come out. Uh, and see how effective that security really is, right? Uh, your differentiation, uh, uh, your IP is open to the public when you engage a global supply chain like this. And you know what, with tariffs, it's getting even worse because now we're expanding out of just one centralized country into all of the region around uh, Southeast Asia. Um, so what do you do about this, right? Well, leading companies are getting proactive. Leading companies are gaining the ability to be able to accurately predict cost early, internally, without having to engage their supply chain for that input. Um, and so really, it's about protecting your IP and keeping your products under wraps as long as possible.